talked about the realization that your career potentially was going to be over the last season. Does having that experience on Saturday night with the home crowd and everything that happened just a full circle moment for you? Yeah, definitely. It was really hard not to get emotional, honestly. Because um, that's what, like, my journey coming to play here, uh, like, there was just so much that went into it. And, like, looking at everything that led up to it, like, going through high school, like, I used to watch the games with my friends. And I was like, I always want to play there and, like, be a part of that. And then, um, like, seeing that it was almost done. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm good. Seeing like that it was done just like before, like the way that I wanted it to end because I didn't really get to finish the way I wanted it to. And that's what, obviously like football is a very physical game. And like you never really get to decide when it's over with, like it can be over any day. But um, realizing like how important it is and how fun it is, because I think oftentimes like if there's any other like college athletes watching this right now, like how quick it can be taken from you. And like what I didn't understand is like how much I relied on the structure of everything, not just like playing football because like people see like Saturday we just run around and like oh everyone's like intense super energy but like everything that goes into it like the off-season training hanging out with your guys like you know I'm roommates with my teammates we hang out all the time um and just everything that goes into it like I, I love I love football I love Clemson like this is I would play here for 20 years if they would let me um obviously my body does not have 20 years of college football in it I don't think anybody does but I mean if there was no eligibility I would stay here forever and that's what I mean it, it's impossible to describe like the feeling of being able to do all that stuff and the privilege that it is because I think oftentimes like that's what coach Luke talked about and it's so true like there's not a lot of people that want to strap it up on a Tuesday and put full pads on after playing a game and then go out there and practice for 20 periods and then do conditioning and then wake up and do it again the next day and then go play another game and then do it the next week and the next week and the next week and continuing on and I think like before the injury and understanding how special and don't get me wrong like I, I never took it for granted I always loved it but I didn't like truly understand how important it is how much of a privilege it is um and even just to run out there and play with your friends you know like standing on the sidelines all last year being hurt you know because in my head the whole time I had the surgery I got back on the sidelines after a couple of weeks and you know was still hurting really bad I was like all right I don't know if that one worked like if I had the other one that'll take another year then I can maybe come back after that working way into it so just the fact of like being able to work through it and, and get through it over the past year and go through camp and then play the first two games and, you know, pray that I stay healthy and, you know, work to stay healthy and play the rest of the season. It's, it's incredible. Absolutely full circle because where I was at a year ago couldn't be farther from where I'm at today. You know, I'm very blessed and very thankful for that.